These are my top five lures. I just either didn't understand or didn't get or I just didn't do well with. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're new and you're subscribing for the first time, thank you. But please leave me a comment so I can say hello and welcome you to the team. So first and foremost, these are in no particular order. These are five lures that when I went back and looked at the closer looks and then went through my logs of fishing for the year, I just didn't do well with these five baits. Now they probably will catch fish at some point, but I've lost confidence in them and confidence is a big part of fishing. If you have confidence in the lure that you're using, you're gonna use it a little bit better or maybe slow it down when you know you need to slow it down, speed it up when that's needed. These are baits I just couldn't get at all. Either I didn't like the action or they just didn't work for me. And unfortunately, I only have one of the five left because I've given those other four away because if I can't use them, I hope somebody else can. So my first lure is the Spro Cyclone Prop Jr. I think that this bait can catch fish at some point in time. It didn't for me. It isn't that I didn't like the plopping sound that it made or the how well it casted. I just don't think you can beat a whopper plopper. That's the truth. I think if you're going to use one, use a whopper plopper or the chopo. I think they're better priced. I think they have a better sound in the water. I think that as they get smaller to bigger, they each have a different a different sound that helps that at that point in time that they're going to get bit. And I just never caught anything. I never got a sniff on this bait. Not at the frog pond, not at uh, Lake EA, not even at uh, Lake Topwater Johnny, rest in peace. Just never got a sniff. So my number one lure is the Spro Cyclone Prop Junior, and that's a topwater bait. My second bait that I did not do well with this year is the Six Sense Sweep. Now there's a lot of reasons why I didn't like this bait. First off, you get two per pack for like twelve or thirteen dollars, which is not right. Which is all right, but they're soft plastics. The thing I really didn't like about this bait is that you had to buy a special hook for it. You needed a beast seven or eight out hook for it. And I don't like that. I don't like spending 13 or $14, let's just say 12 to $14 on two plastic lures and then having to spend seven, eight, nine, ten dollars $10 on hooks. I think they should be merged together. The first bait, I put a six out beast hook on it. It didn't swim at all. I went out, waited three weeks, got some seven knot weighted uh, beast hooks, and then put it on the second bait, and it just swam to the side. I didn't understand how this bait was made, and I know that you have to have, in the back of your mind, you need to have the hooks in mind. I just dislike that you have to go buy hooks, special hooks for this bait. My third bait I didn't like in 2022 is the Nomad Maverick. Now I like the thought of this bait having several different ways of being fished, but I just couldn't catch anything with it. It was a mystery to me. I liked, I enjoyed that it casted well and, and other things, and it seemed like it had good action. Just did nothing for me. I mean, I, I really spent a lot of time on this with this bait. Not only making the closer look video, because I think I went out and filmed four times to make the video to get the drone footage, but I seriously put some time on the water with this bait. Nothing. Nothing. I couldn't even get a turtle to sniff it. Uh, so that's why it's my third bait I didn't like in 2022. The fourth bait I didn't like in 2022 was the Savage Gear Dragon Tail. I think this is probably a good bait as a trailer, and if you're using it in a trailer, it's going to be successful or somewhat successful. It has good ribs that have water displacement and so forth, but for me, I used it as almost like a fluke. And the fluke or uh, the fluke is just phenomenal. And but this dragon tail just didn't do anything for me. Couldn't get a, couldn't get bites. Uh, I I don't remember using it much cuz I just didn't see the action in the bait and I was disappointed in that. So for my number 4 bait of dislikes for 2022 is the Savage Gear Dragon Tail. And my last bait that I didn't like in 2022 is, and I have it, the Depths Frill Shad. Now, it has that little thing on the top of it that makes it act a little bit differently, but time in and time out, I could throw this on a weighted uh, hook 
and just I wasn't getting anything I don't know why uh, I think it, it to me it looks like a bait that should catch fish looks that's the key word this on the top makes the water make it twist back and first turn back and forth but it just didn't do it for me I don't know why um, I actually think I got one fish on this I think I'd have to go back and look but for the money and for what it was worth I just didn't I don't see the action in it I don't see it worth in my opinion purchasing so that was my fifth bait for 2022 I did not like the depths frill shad uh, anyway I hope you guys like this this video I hope it helps you I don't know if it will I mean I think all these baits at some point they can catch fish they just didn't for me so that's why they're in my top five if you like this kind of content make sure you comment below and tell me what you think if you watch this far and haven't hit the subscribe button shame on you but hit it now and you'll help me out anyway take a hit fishing get your fish on happy new year is coming right up see y'all soon cheers